Um, speaking of quarterbacks, I want to talk about Drake May. He's been getting a lot of criticism recently. Indeed. A lot of draft analysts have been looking at his film and have said a lot of things about him from the aspect of, I, I believe Merrill Hodges said he wouldn't draft him in the first round. Yep. He said, he said, this is what he said. He said something to the realm of, well, if your thought process is, if we put him in our system, I could fix him. That's how you'll get fired. That's how you get fired. And I think with Merrill Hodges, because he's not the only person that, that said that I would well, he not not to say that I wouldn't draft uh Drake May in the first round, but but that they think that Drake May is QB three. Here here's hmm. what I'll say about people like Merrill Hodges that are like down on Drake May. I agree that Drake May has a lot of flaws and has a lot of things that he needs to clean up. They they always talk about his his feet. His fundamentals are very sloppy. Uh they they bring up the comparison with Herbert, the anticipation, him sort of being a tad late when it comes to throwing, his throwing yes. motion. His throwing motion can be uh <laughs> I remember Kurt, Ben Kurt, compared him to Mason Rudolph in terms of his throwing motion. Yeah, I saw that. So, so like, I mean, he he has his flaws. I, I agree. He has his flaws, and he needs to clean some stuff up. But ultimately, I think he's a top five pick. I think he whatever mm. team gets him should be happy. Because I believe that his his ceiling is as high as a Caleb Williams, a Jaden Daniels. I will say that he's the biggest um gamble. Which, yeah, he's the biggest he's the biggest risk out of the three. Remember the group chat? I remember we were in the group chat and um uh, I was I was telling people, I was like, yo, I think Jaden Daniels is the safer pick. I like Drake May more as a prospect, but I think Jaden Daniels is a safer pick for the commanders. And everybody was like, what are you talking about? Uh, how is Jaden Daniels the safer pick um, over Drake May? And they look at his size. They look at, oh, he only weighs 214. I'm like, come on now, bro. What does the tape, what does the tape say? And see, sometimes we'll be in the group chat and, and people will act dense to stuff. They'll act very dense. And just because more people agree, more people are against what you believe in doesn't mean that they're right. And so mm. these people that I will not name in our group chat that we are in was like, oh, Drake May, you know, they're super high on Drake May. And they're not very high. Except on one fans. commander fan. Yeah, one, he one not commander like Drake. fans. He like he likes Jaden Daniels or Drake May. But my thing is, is that in terms of like what what do you need from your QB right now when you draft them? I think the commanders are not in a position where they can just have a QB sit for a year. I'll be shocked. I'll be shocked. Honestly, if they do that, because that'll let me know that the culture has truly changed. But mm. but I, I just don't see it. And I think if if that's the case, then you draft Jaden Daniels because he's the more pro-ready quarterback and he fits Cliffs Kingsbury's system. So Yeah, I, that is true because a lot of the one of the critiques I've heard from about Jaden Daniels is that he doesn't really attack the middle of the field. And as you can see from Cliff Kingsbury working in Arizona, Tyler wasn't hitting much over the field either. He was mostly working outside the numbers, outside the hashes. As exactly. far as route combinations go. So. Exactly. So I look at Jaden Daniels to the commanders, and it's, it's very smooth 
transition. They have Terry McLaurin. They have Jahan Dotson. Um, the O line is not going to be good, but because Jaden Daniels is a really good, he's really good with running the football, and he can run. I would say he's probably a four five, four four guy, maybe. You, he can overcome a pretty mediocre to bad O line, and he's a better according. This is according to the analysts now, NFL analysts. They say these draft analysts. They say that Jaden Daniels. When it he comes navigates to, the pocket better. When it comes to a pure pocket passer, he's he's better than he's better than Drake May. He navigates the pocket better. He's better yeah. with throwing with anticipation. He has a quicker release yeah. than Drake May, which is important. That's yeah. why they're so high on him. Is because it's just some of the the tools that you need in order to be great in the league. He has that. The cold world, still a cold world, and a couple of y'all is cool, but with your little more thorough. <laughs> Whole time, a little more girl. You know I spent that six in and still no cure. Hold up.